before I start construction. I come in the coop to make sure the girls have got water and food this morning. The last few days I've been giving them a green leaf every day from their window box garden, either Swiss chard, spinach, or lettuce that are growing in the window boxes outside. First they were a bit timid of it and didn't know quite what to make of it, but now they devour it. They absolutely enjoy having a little bit of greens. It seems to be quite a game with them. They'll drag it all around the place, but that leaf's only been in there for a minute or two, and I've already got it full of holes. So I don't give them too much. I read somewhere that with young birds is a danger of too much greens causing diarrhea or whatever, but I do give them one nice big leaf every day, and they really seem to relish it. I just had to come in the coop and show you the latest trick here. I just come to the door and open it and start talking to them. And this one particular young chicken, which I think is either a Bard Rock or a Plymouth Rock, she comes running over and gets on top of the water fountain so she can look me right in the face. And once today she jumps over and sat on the edge of the wall of the of the brooder there, and then one of her other buddies got up on the water fountain. And, uh, I guess she recognizes my voice, and I'm the guy that brings the green leaves and the, and the chicken feed and the water, so she thought she'd come over and say hello. don't know now if that's her or one of her buddies. I have three that look just like this, but I just shut the camera off, and this one leaps up and sits on the wall to talk to me. Now they're all taking turns. This is Princess Matilda, is my great niece, and my friend in Australia has named her. She's just leaped up on the wall, so it's like not to show you that I can do that too. Those other fellows aren't really all that much cleverer than me. I took down the uh, brooder wall, made of corrugated plastic, just like corrugated cardboard. Top of it was kind of sharp, in my opinion, anyway, and they were all wanting to fly up and perch on it. I was scared they might cut their feet or something. So I took that down, left the brooder lamp in there. And uh, so they get cool, they can still go over and get under the brooder lamp. The building isn't drafty. In the daytime, I have the windows open and a fan going because it's quite hot out here today. Well, not hot compared to you folks in Texas and Australia and places, but it's quite warm and the building gets quite warm, so I keep a fan going to circulate and it brings in fresh air that way too. Uh, they really are enjoying exploring the whole building this morning, so I, I think that's the way I'm going to leave it from now on until they are able to come outside. And some of them are almost completely feathered out, so as soon as I get this yard finished and get a chicken door installed, I think they'll be able to to come out for a few hours each day. I made reference to this at the beginning of the video on the one month chicken update here, but uh, I've been busy the last two or three days building a secure fenced in hen yard. And it's uh, kind of a miserable day today, so I won't get it finished today, but I am making some video clips and I'll put together a short video on the process and post it later. Well, the girls have spent their first night in there enlarged home and they seem to be enjoying the extra space they get a lot more exercise and a lot more things to, to explore they're having their spinach leaf this morning <laughs> the antics are something to watch I'm just standing in the doorway here well don't be frightened I'm going to put you down so that you can play with the girls for a few minutes
that's it. The girls are now officially one month old.